like terms. This idea of like terms is a very big deal. In order to do algebra, you have to be able to understand what terms are like terms and what terms aren't. So watch this video and read through this material as much as you need to, but make sure you understand this section. Like terms are terms that have exactly the same variable part. Write that down. Like terms are terms that have exactly the same variable part. Like terms are terms that have exactly the same variable part. Here's an example. 6AB is a term, and 12AB is a term, and negative 5AB. And this one here, AB, remember, is the same as 1AB. And here's 1,283,715 AB. In every single one of these, the variable part is AB. So these are all like terms. In fact, we could say they are all AB terms, referring to the AB variable part. Now look at these. We have 6AB, and we have 12AB squared. That AB squared is not quite the same thing as that AB, because the B over here is squared, and here it's not. So those are different variable parts for these two terms. These are not like terms. And in fact, in all of these, the variable part is a little bit different. This is a, a squared b, which is different from the a b squared and different from the a b. And this is a squared b squared. And over here on the last one, we just have an a. In all of those, the variable part is different from all the others. These are not, none of these are like terms. We could say they are unlike terms. The point is, the variable part is different, and we recognize that. Here's an example. In each of the following, find two terms that are like terms and circle them. So let's look at the first one. Well, there's an x here, and I don't see any other terms that contain just an x. There are other terms that have an x in them, but the variable part has to be exactly the same. So there's no other x term. So let's look at this. Here's an xy term, and none of these others have an xy. So let's look at the next one, xy squared. Well, this one also has an xy squared. So both of these are xy squared terms. Those are like terms because they have exactly the same variable part. So let's circle those. And that's it. There's no other x squared y term, and there's no other y term. So we found the like terms and circled them. Now let's look at this one. Here's an mn. So let's look at the others. Let's see, none of those others have exactly an mn. And here's an n term, and here's another n term. So let's circle those. There's a, a 2n, and this negative 8n, circle that negative sign as part of your answer there. You're told to circle the like terms. So the 2n and the negative 8n are the two like terms, and the negative sign is part of that term. But now look here, there's a, let's see, a m squared, there's no other, oh wait, yeah, here's an m squared over here. So the negative 3m squared and the 4m squared are also like terms, so we need to circle those. I'm going to circle those differently since it's a different term. So the m, I'm sorry, the n terms are the same, or, or those are both like terms, and the m squared terms are like terms. Here's another example. Find three terms that are like terms in each of the following and circle them. So we need to find three like terms. Okay, a, b squared. Uh, there's another a, b squared. And there's another a, b squared. So all three of those terms are a, b squared terms. So let's circle those. And in the second one. Here's a x, y squared, z. Uh, let's see. No. No other x, y squared, z terms. So let's look at this one. x squared, y, z. Okay, there's an x squared, y, z term, and there's another, the 14 x squared, y, z. 
and over here the negative 150 x squared yz so we found three like terms there so let's circle those the negative sign there is part of that term and the negative sign here is part of that term 